Greetings, our Swans Way Days, Yuri Spish, and uh, today I'll be talking about Federico Fernandez, Jefferson Montero, and Keenan Davis. Uh, Fe Federico Fernandez has been linked to the Swans, someone said on Twitter. Keenan Davis has been linked to the Swans press and Helen QPR, and Jefferson Montero has been linked with Birmingham. So, in today's episode, I'll be explaining my thoughts and do I think it'll go through. This room I'll be talking about is Federico Fernandez back to the Swans and a possible loan deal. I don't think this is really going to happen in all honesty because of his wages and he's a Premier League quality player. But in recent talks, he has fallen out with Mike Ashley over Rafa Benitez. Obviously, Benitez has now left Newcastle after, uh, after his contract ran out. So, Fernandez really only went to Newcastle for the um, money. Not the money, but to work under Benitez, a great manager. But apparently he wants out, and the Swans are really interested in him, apparently, according to this guy on Twitter. He's not really reliable, in fairness, but you never know, because he said he knows a mate down forward, but if my auntie had a dick, she'd be my uncle. So, <laughs> that's one of the worst, <laughs> it's one of the worst uh, things I've ever said, but there we are. Um, yeah, so I don't really think Fernandez will be back at the Swans. Uh, obviously, he was a great player back in his day, but hopefully he does well at... Um, wherever he goes, but I think this one is false. Next one for the Swans is a rumour being linked with the Swans. Uh, is Aston Villa striker Keenan Davis. I think he's 19 or 20, he scored three goals in f 44 appearances last year, something like that. Um, scored a good goal against, well, I don't think it was 44, I'm not sure what it was, but I know he scored the equaliser against Sheffield United back in January, where Aston Villa made that remarkable comeback, but um, would I take him? I probably would, in fairness, but I don't think he'd be a starter. Obviously, we've still got players like Boja Baston, Joe Neu, Andre Eu, so we've got to get them off the box first before this deal comes in. Preston, Cooper and Hollow need uh, want a striker. QPR especially, but um, I think Keenan Davis is a good young player and he needs regular football, but I think we'd be more like a bench player. I think he can play left wing as well, so he's a versatile forward and he could be influential to the Swans if he does join. Obviously, Steve Cooper's got a good track record with youngsters and that's something Dean Swift will be looking at. And I think he'll be getting regular f football down the Liberty. He'll probably be a one-year loan deal. His wages won't be too high, so he'll be um, in our price bracket. So, Keenan Davis, I can probably see this happening, and I hope it does happen. But uh, football I'll be talking about in this episode is Jefferson Montero. He was on last on loan at West Brom in January, where the Yanks ridiculously loaned him, shockingly, without uh, Graham Paul's permission, but we can't do nothing about that. He had a poor um, spell at West Brom, scored one goal, I think, against QPR, but he didn't really play under James Shan, I believe, when Darren Moore got sacked, he didn't fancy him. He also got injured again, typical Montero. The um, thing is with Jefferson, he's a good player on his day, but when is his day? His day, his day is just too regular he's just not performing to his he's not performing consistently he's always in judd he's usually a bench player he didn't start a single game for us last season um he, he usually came on the come off the bench and it, in my opinion his best pro his best game was probably against birmingham in january i think it was where he made a great impact and had two assists or something like that um he came off the bench and um ripped apart birmingham a new one um so I don't think Montero will leave on loan because I, uh, if he is to leave, I'd rather be on a permanent deal or we keep him. I don't think we should be loaning him. Uh, he's got one year left in his contract, I like to believe. He's probably on a decent wage as well. So Jefferson Montero, he's a, he could be a Premier League player, but the injuries he's received, is, he's got hamstrings made of sticks or something like that. It's, it's just it's just it's frustrating how injured he gets because... Um, obviously, Bayern Munich and pe pe clubs like that were linked with him before, so it's a bit. But <sighs> it's a tough one. It's a real tough one. I'm, I'm stuck. So leave your comments down below. Would you sell Montero or keep him? Because I really don't know. I, I I've just, I just. Yeah, there's loads of positives and negatives of this one. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But personally, I'd probably keep him.